you. Yes, you. Eru sent me. He asked me to point you to the council chambers, at the Sikorat's peak. They've pulled him into a meeting. Looked bad. Whose feathers did he ruffle this time? Akarat insisted we find Abulan, and that's what I intend to do. Oh? Eru speaks with the great Akarat? How novel. I'm being serious, Ormus. And who are you, stranger, to ask after Abulan? A friend. My friend. I vouch for them. Without hesitation. Arrow. Abulam will not be easy to find. He has a mural in the Undercity, but it's in the old tongue. You will need an interpreter. I'll interpret. If Eru believes Abulan needs to be found, so be it. Thank you, Maka. Let's go before she changes her mind. Meet me outside. Looking a little pale? What's wrong? What's wrong? There's something you need to know. I was once fed the blood of a demon. Lilith. That blood forged a bond from me to her. I killed her, but she's still a part of me. I know it. You vouched for me at the council. You called me your friend. Would you take it back, knowing what I carry with me? <sighs> Ages ago, when I was a child, a spirit came to our town. Wherever the spirit went, death followed. So a spirit born, Tatha, he stands up, asks the spirit, Why do you bring death to my town? The spirit tells him the truth. I'm lonely. I just want some company. I've heard this story before. Walk with me. Tada takes the spirit's hand. Spirit and spirit born leave the town together. Bonded for life. The spirit will never be lonely again. Never hurt another soul. The town is saved. But Tata? Tata is bonded with death. He can never return home. Never will. You saved your home. This Lilith? She is dead. Just an echo in your blood. What you're feeling now is the misery of being the one who must live with her. Don't let the misery drown you. And <laughs> don't fear my judgment of all things. You must remember the home you saved. Hold it close to your breast. Because it's the only thing you have. Thank you, Arrow. Don't get used to it. <laughs> Go. You have a mural to find. The other city is open. Go. Find Abulan's mural. Maka and I will join you shortly.
thought my days of plumbing muck-lined tunnels were over. Oh, you're keeping me young. Says, this time of year, Abulan will be on his 
fallow walk in the field of giants. Hmm. Haven't been there in years. Not since your trials, I guess. Must be what? A century ago? Maka. The field of giants isn't far. Speak to Ormus. Tell him what we found. We'll meet you on the road. We hope you find him. Abulan hasn't been seen for some time. We don't know what you will find in the wilds. So the Council has decided to offer you some additional aid. These stones are ancient relics from the time of the first druid. The runes inscribed on them will protect you from the evils of this world. Take them. Use them for good. to keep looking. Started now. I was just a boy when I first reached past the veil and saw one of the ancient spirits. I knew then I would spend my life preserving this place. Ah, so you've never been normal. I thought this all started when you trained me. I'm not saying I wasn't afraid. The spirits are strange. Grotesque, yet so very beautiful and fragile. Don't hide your fear, but do not shy away. Then, Abulan may hear your plea. We'll open up a tear to the spirit realm, so you may call out to him. Abulan? Abulan! Something's not right. Oh no. Hollows have breached the spirit realm. We have to go in there. You and me, maybe. But them? The pain will shatter their mind. I 
can do, Payne. If it'll help Nerel, I'll take the risk. Nerel has poisoned the one thing that could save her. All of the hunters risked for her choices. We'll need an entryway. He had worshippers once, many years ago. They might have left something to point the way. I'll check their old grounds. <sighs> Me too. I shouldn't have slept. But all of this pain... <sighs> I know she was guided here. But still, I curse the day she brought that stone to Nahantu. Ah! What's this now? <sighs> I'll handle this.
you're back. How many times has he invited you to talk? How many times have you accepted? More than I'd like. He thinks if he can get me alone, he can manipulate me. I know better than to listen to the wolf. That beast really is Mephisto, then? Just an aspect of him, from what I can tell. The whole of him is held in the stone. He's getting stronger, though. That wolf has grown larger since I saw it last. And what exactly did he say, this time? <sighs> Actually, don't tell me yet. I want to be sitting down when I hear the answer. Promise me we'll talk about this later. Come. Maka would be waiting for us. <laughs> <laughs>